What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. We're doing a cigar review on a remote location. We're not normally at home, so we're out doing it. I figured I'd do it here, uh, but I am uh, reviewing today the Hoya Black uh, by Hoya de Nicaragua. And as for those, some of those out there know this isn't a brand new cigar. It's been out for a couple years. I know it's been, it was actually introduced in 2016 at the uh, trade show. So it isn't something new, but it's something I don't, uh, I haven't reviewed, but it is something I do like. And, you know, might as well shoot it out there because a lot of times people are looking at older sticks, uh, just, you know, trying to see what was still out there because sometimes the blends from those years are a lot better than, you know, some of the other ones they've had. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. This is the Hoya Black, and this is the 6x52 Toro. All right, everybody, we'll get into it. We did a straight cut on the on the cigar. Uh, I like to do the straight cuts for whatever reason. There's a lot of the other type of cuts out there. There's not a wrong way to cut a cigar. I know some people get all bent out of shape and, oh, you can only do it this way, and you can't cut it this way, and it doesn't matter. You can cut it the way you like it. I mean, I know some old timers, and I'm talking some old school where they bite the end of it off and spit it out, and that's how they do it. Believe me, it's it's crazy, but, you know, everybody has their way that they enjoy their cigar. As long as they're enjoying their cigar and having a good time, that's all I can ask for. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And like you can see, this is a really dark, uh, dark Maduro wrapper. Now, this is a San Andreas uh, wrapper, uh, Mexican San Andreas, for those who don't know where the San Andreas wrappers come from, but it is a Mexican San Andreas, and the binder and fill-in are both uh, Nicaragua, not really disclosed where at in Nic Nicaragua, I'm guessing, there's only like a couple regions in Nicaragua where they grow uh, tobacco, but with it being a Hoya de Nicaragua product, of course I would think it'd be from Nicaragua. So, when the, the, the pre-draw get a little bit of a, of a chocolate cocoa. And when I mean cocoa, I mean like a, a non-sweetened cocoa. It's just like basic like baker's chocolate cocoa. If you've ever as a kid tried to steal a little bit of cocoa and you thought mom was making cookies or something and you're like, oh, I want some. And then you realize there's no sugar and it doesn't, it's awful by itself. It's not awful. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying it's kind of that profile. There's just no sweetness to it. Getting a lot of that chocolate profile and getting a little bit of a nuttiness, uh, maybe almost like a, uh, a cashew or even maybe an almond. It's hard to put my pinpoint. And if you can't get these, don't freak out. It's not a big deal. It's just something I've noticed. You, when you smoke enough cigars and do enough cold draws and things like that, you start to notice certain cigars have certain profiles. With that said, it sounds, it looks pretty good. It tastes pretty good. We'll get it going. More than likely, I'll probably start seeing some pepper uh, profiles for it, but we'll see. We'll be back with the first third. All right, everybody, welcome back for the first third of our review of the Hoya Black by Hoya de Nicaragua, 6x52 Toro. Now, like I said, this cigar isn't a brand new cigar. It was released in 2016 at the trade show. Um... But I wanted to revisit it. I, I may have posted it. I've done so many videos that I had to go back through and verify that I did or didn't. But I'm going to try it again, see how it's aged over the last few years, if it's changed the blends, if, it, if, it, if there's any noticeable differences. But mainly I'm going to review it again for those who may have never saw it. Uh, with the cigar, though, you're getting right off the very beginning. You get a real boldness of pepper. get a real boldness of pepper profile. I'm getting a little bit of a uh, fruit, uh, kind of like a fruit spice, um, like a dried uh, apricot profile with a little bit of a, uh, a real bold black pepper. Uh, but again, it's a Hoya de Nicaragua, so they're always a little more peppery profile, at least in my opinion. Because that's just native to the uh, the profiles of Nicaraguan tobaccos. Now, there might be some disagreement out there. Again, my opinion, not fact or fiction. It's just what I'm getting noticing with my palate. But as you can see, it is uh, 
it burning pretty good. There's, it's not razor sharp, but again, I just started it. Sometimes it takes a little while, but we are getting lots of smoke. So it's definitely a cigar that you don't want to smoke if you, if you smoke in the car and you don't have windows open, boy, you're going to be, uh, it could make it a little hard for you. But with that said, we'll keep puffing through it, and I'll be back with the second third of the Hoya Black right after this. All right, everybody, welcome back to the second third of our review of the Hoya de Black, Hoya Black, sorry, by Hoya de Nicaragua. Now, in the second third, we're getting a little more of a hazelnut profile that's coming through, a little bit different. The black paper, uh, black pepper, excuse me, is in the foreground of, of the cigar experience. There's not really a lot. The one thing I can say is this is not an overwhelming uh, strength profile uh, of Hoya de Nicaragua as normal. Those who have smoked the other Hoya de Nicaraguas out there, the Hoya Black is actually a little bit more mild compared to some of those, and that's not my words. That's what I've noticed, but that's what the uh, manager of the of the factory where they make the cigar, that was his statement, was they had some uh, tobaccos that had been aged for a while, and they wanted to create something a little bit different blend and not so robust and overpowering like some of their other known signature cigars. Uh, just something a little bit different, give uh, people a new profile t um, to what they carry. Uh, they don't want to be stereotyped as one type of profile, because that's the one thing cigar companies sometimes don't want. They create all these cigars, they don't want them all to be considered exactly the same. That's not the point, and there are subtle differences in all of them. But with that said, that is uh, what I'm getting so far on Hoya Black. And we'll keep going through it. I'll be back with the final third and my final thoughts right after this. All right, everybody, back with our final third of the cigar today, the Hoya Black by Hoya de Nicaragua. In that final third, we are still getting a little bit of the pepper profile in the, in the, in the background and still got a great balance of cigar. Not really a lot of new changes. But man, I have to say, if you haven't tried one and you are a fan of the Hoya de Nicaragua or any Nicaraguan cigars, then definitely take a look at this cigar. With that said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. As always, leave your comments below. And have a great day, have a great smoke. Mm -hmm.